all, my name is Rachel Moot and welcome back to another Quincy Questions. Our newest question is how do you give fish medicine? Just like people, every once in a while the animals in our care need to be given medication. This can be to prevent illness or to treat it. They're not too different from us in that sense. Aquarists, or people who care for fish, with the assistance and guidance from our veterinary staff, administer their treatment in a variety of ways. This can include by mouth, added into their food, and as a bath. One of the more common ways our animals receive medication is orally or by mouth. We will tuck their pills and vitamins into a piece of food to make sure it tastes good too. I'm sure plenty of you have had to do this with a pet dog or cat. Did you know there are also specific vitamins made for fish and sharks to fit their needs? Some of you at home might take a multivitamin. Many of our animals get daily vitamins too. For example, many of our rays in our care receive a daily multivitamin to make sure they're in tip-top shape. Some types of oral medications come in powdered or liquid form. In these cases, we will enrich a food item with it instead. This may involve mixing it into a flavored gel to create a food-medicine combo, or in the case of liquid vitamins, such as those used for our seahorses and sea dragons, we let the food sit in the vitamin solution until it is absorbed. For these animals, we use a supplement called Vitafish. As you may have seen in one of our previous videos, all of our animals undergo some form of quarantine before they are moved onto exhibit. Many of these quarantines involve the administration of prophylactic or preventative medications against parasites, bacteria, or diseases the fish may have on arrival. These prophylactics are given as an immersion bed, which is one of the most unique ways we can treat aquatic animals. Typically, we do this by medicating the water they live in. The fish will then absorb this medication through their skin or gills. Depending on the situation, the medicine may be in the water for as short as 30 minutes or as long as a few weeks. Administering medicine via baths has certainly proven to be a beneficial way to ensure all of the fish we care for are healthy. Thank you for listening and we hope you enjoyed hearing about how fish get their medications. See you next time!